Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a dynamic group containing all Windows 10 devices managed by Intune. Intune uses Active Directory groups to manage devices and users. As an Intune admin, you can set up groups to suit your organization's requirement. You can create groups to organize users or devices by geographic location, department or hardware characteristics. In Indian, you can add two types of groups, assigned and dynamic. In assigned groups, we manually add users or devices into a static group. In dynamic groups, we can create attribute-based rules to enable dynamic membership for a group in Azure Active Directory. Dynamic group membership adds and removes group members automatically using membership rule based on attributes. Remember, dynamic groups requires Azure AD Premium license. In this video, we want to create a dynamic group that includes all the windows and devices managed by Intune from our Azure Active Directory. First, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash endpoint.microsoft.com. In Admin Center, click on Devices. Under By Platform, click on Windows. Here, we can see the list of devices which are currently managed by Intune. Out of these three devices, two are running on Windows 10 and one is running on Windows 11 operating system. We just want to include Windows 10 devices to a group. For that, we need to define the membership rules based on attributes when we create a dynamic group. To create a new group, I'm going to click on Groups. Click on New Group icon. On the group page, choose security as a group type and that is selected by default. Enter a name for the new group. Here, I am going to specify name Intune underscore Win10 Client. We can also add a short description for this group. Giving description, only Windows 10 devices managed by Intune. Now, we need to select a membership type. Click on the drop down arrow and select dynamic device as a membership type for this group. I'm not going to define any additional owner for this group. To define the dynamic query for this group, click on add dynamic query link. We need to use a multiple expression to achieve our desired result. First, we need to define the rule to find Windows devices and for that we will use device OS type attribute. Click on drop down arrow under property and select device OS type as a property type. Now select operator type to equals. Now we need to add value for the device OS type attribute which we want in this rule to match. In our case it is going to be windows. So let me add windows. I'm going to click here to see the rule syntax. We can see this is our rule syntax device dot device OS type equals windows. Now let's add second condition to find only windows 10 devices. For that we will use device OS version attribute. Let me click on add expression link to add another rule. Make sure and is selected. Click on drop down arrow under property. Select device OS version as a property type. Now select operator type to starts with. Now we need to add value for the device OS version attribute which we want in this rule to match. In our case it is going to be 10.0.1. Let me again click here. This is the second syntax. Now let's add third condition to find only Windows 10 devices managed by Intune. 
let me again click on add expression and for that we will use management type attribute click on drop down arrow and select management type now select operator type to equals we need to add value for the management type attribute which we want in this rule to match in our case it is going to be mdm let me again click here to see the complete rule syntax so in our case we are defining three conditions one to find windows devices second to find only windows 10 devices and third to find only windows 10 devices which are managed by intune after defining the dynamic query for this rule select save select create on the new group page to create the dynamic group after we click on create the group gets created and a membership evaluation will start immediately uh, we can see the confirmation message successfully created group named intune underscore win 10 client we can't see our group so i'm going to click on refresh to see the updated group list we can see our group is there intune underscore win 10 client the group type is security and membership type is dynamic let me click on group name intune win 10 client on group properties page uh, we can see dynamic rule processing status is not available and same goes for last membership change under direct members we can see currently there are no members added to this dynamic group named intune underscore win 10 client this will take some time to complete the dynamic rule processing so i'm going to pause the video recording once the dynamic rule processing status is available then i'll resume the recording again after waiting for one day finally the update completed we can see the dynamic rule processing status it is update completed we can also see the last update timestamp here under direct members we can see we have two devices in this group to see those devices under manage click on members we can see the windows 10 devices are listed as a member of this group since these are windows 10 devices and managed by intune it match the condition defined for the dynamic group membership you can also modify the dynamic membership query as per requirement if needed so that concludes the video on how to create dynamic group containing all windows 10 devices managed by intune thank you all for watching this video have a nice day